Ladies and gentlemen, you won't believe it, I'm here with the one, the only, Mr Chris Pratt. <laughs> Reggie's here, and we're ready to play Where's Your Ted At? Where's your Ted At? Where's your Ted At? Now, we're all familiar with TED Talks, but what about a TED Talk where the presenter has done zero research, spent zero hours rehearsing, and has zero idea what the topic is going to be. In this game, Chris, Reggie and myself will be giving 100% improvised TED Talks on topics we've never heard before. <laughs> Our only aid will be this clicker, used to navigate through a PowerPoint presentation we also have never, ever seen. <laughs> Reggie, Chris, are you ready? No. All right. Well, look, Reggie is the only person here who's ever actually done a TED Talk. We're going to start with you. Here's your clicker. Oh, thank you. Take uh, it away. Where's your TED at? Hi, I'm Reggie Watts, and today I will be talking about how to tell your loved ones you plan to be mummified. <laughs> Mummification has been around for centuries. As we all know, the Greeks, the Sardosians, and the Graflarks have all been very well trained and affluent in their research in mummification. Of course, <laughs> don't forget the Egyptians. You see, inflation had a lot to do with <laughs> mummification techniques because when you're mummifying people, there's a lot of expense that goes into it. And so some people skimped a little bit on their mummification practices, like less bandages, only bandages on one side because they're laying down. You're never going to see the backside. So, uh, let me see that thong. Come on. Now, the reason why we bring up this meme, I guess it's a meme of, of sorts, is because it distracts from the fact that mummification is scary. And... <laughs> Whether you or a loved one is into mummification, we have to deal with that fear. And so, just a little bit of a distraction there for you. Uh, as you can see, the temperatures in the United States are constantly fluctuating. Red meaning favorable and green meaning not so great. So, how does that affect mummification? Well, we see higher mummification centralized areas in the red areas. These are people that are really into it. The green, not so much, and the blue, we don't talk about. So, <laughs> uh, in conclusion, if you don't have a rocket, <laughs> and you don't have a turtle, don't bother mixing the two because speed and slowness have everything to do with mummification. You have to take your time when taking a brain out of your nose. This is the basic principle of mummification. Don't go too fast, don't go too slow. Just right, like the Swedish say, lagum, not too much, not too little. Thank you, I've been Reggie Watt. Oh my God! Oh my word! Reggie, that was awesome! <laughs> that was unbelievable. God. Next up is Mr. Chris oh, Pratt. Chris, get in Hello. God. Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here. I'm Chris Pratt. Uh, today, I will be talking about how to lie about having seen <laughs> Citizen Kane. <laughs> As you know, Citizen Kane is one of the greatest films in cinematic uh, history. Yes. But you don't know that because you've seen it, right? <laughs> you know that because you have a pretentious nephew who went to film school and he won't stop talking about it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> we don't have time to watch old black and white movies. We hardly have time, just enough time, to watch the things we really want to see, like Jurassic World Dominion, which is in theaters now. <laughs> The Terminal List, which is premiering on Prime Video July 1st. Look, I'm from Hollywood. The truth doesn't matter. What matters is image. And let's be honest, whoever's being gifted this shirt is not the world's horniest dad. He's a guy named Daryl, probably. <laughs> who's got four kids, has been married 30 years, and hasn't woken up with an erection in 10 years. <laughs> but that's not gonna stop him from wearing this shirt and convincing people that he has seen, that he is the world's horniest dad, and you can convince people that you have seen Citizen Kane. And that is because you have 
What everybody needs when they face rejection, when you see that nephew from film school saying, so really, what does Rosebud mean? <laughs> you have bounce back ability. You say, and hear me, memorize this, it was a sled. <laughs> Just, just be present with confidence. Give them that big energy. <laughs> of course you've seen Citizen Kane. If you hadn't seen Citizen Kane, how did you end up with her? <laughs> right? In conclusion, the story of Citizen Kane is about a, a, a newspaper magnate who, you know, dedicates his entire life to building an empire, but on his deathbed wants nothing but a piece of his childhood, okay? That's all you need to know. So I've just saved you two and a half hours. <laughs> Be like this woman. <laughs> Have no regrets shortly before you die. <laughs> she was in the film Citizen Kane. I've been Chris Pratt. Remember, Citizen Kane, it's almost as good as Casablanca. <laughs> or so I've been told. <laughs> Chris Pratt, everybody! An incredible effort! Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Yes. That was okay. <laughs> Hello. I'm James Corden, and today I will be talking about... when is the right time <laughs> to tattoo your child. <laughs> it's a question we always ask. <laughs> when? Not if. <laughs> when? When is the right time to tattoo your child? And by the end of this TED talk, you're going to know. <laughs> that is the tattoo on the back of my 11 year old son. <laughs> okay? Now, I know you're thinking, why? Why? Why that tattoo? And I'll tell you why. It's because this is how big the tattoo should be on your child, OK? <laughs> Not an inch smaller, you know? People say, when's the right time? I say, yesterday. <laughs> and if you missed it, then it's right now. Yep. <laughs> what have we got here? <laughs> big cats. Big cats. Man-eaters! <laughs> and look at this man. Stood completely still, unafraid, motionless. You know why? Tattooed as a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and when that happens... That's true. That's true. When that happens, you fear nothing. <laughs> the trauma of that tattoo will let you face every hurdle in your life. And why aren't more people doing it? <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Corporate greed. A tattoo lasts forever. An Xbox breaks. A PlayStation breaks. Every single toy you buy your child, they will grow out of. And corporate greed wants you to keep buying them toys, keep buying them stuff, when they know, deep down, the best gift you can give a child <laughs> is a neck tattoo, OK? <laughs> In conclusion, OK? In conclusion... <laughs> it's a famous saying. <laughs> it's a famous... It's a famous saying that says... <laughs> if you don't tattoo... Your child, you might as well spend the rest of your life kissing a fish. <laughs> I'm James Corden. <laughs> Tattoo your babies. Thank you very much. And thanks to Reggie Watts, the incredible Chris Pratt, Jurassic World Dominion. He's in theaters right now. Where's your tell out? We'll be right back, everybody.